So you have seen the thumbnail, you have read the title and that is why you are here. And hence, I guess I won't take much of your time because the problem that we are going to talk about today is one of the most common problem I guess each and everyone out there has faced in their lives. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, what's up? This is me Hardik. We are iGeeks blog and today we are going to talk about how to transfer your data from your iPhone to your Windows PC or else from your Windows PC to your iPhone. Hence. Let's get started. So today I'm going to give you two ways through which you can transfer your data. The first one being iCloud Drive. When using an iPhone and having an iCloud account, I don't think so. It can get easier than this. All you need to do is go to your files folder. Over there you need to browse for your iCloud Drive. So everything that you are seeing over here, you can always access from anywhere in the world. And hence I would suggest that you make a new folder. And then look for the folder that you had created and save your data over there. This way, half of your job is already done. Now, you just need to go to iCloud.com. Over there, you need to sign in with your Apple ID. And then look for Drive. Once the iCloud Drive is open, you can see Browse on the left hand side. And once you click on Browse, you will find your folder which you had made in your phone over here as well. Same way, you can upload any data that you want in your phone and your job would be done. Now, as you can see, the file that I transferred from the PC is available on my phone as well. So this way you can access your data from anywhere in the world. All you will need is an Apple ID to start with. Now, there is one more way which people usually prefer when they only want to transfer photos or videos, but still, I'm not very convinced with that one. But still, I'll tell you about it. You just need to plug in your device, go to my computer. Over there, you need to select the Apple iPhone drive. Go to internal storage. And over here, you will find each and every photo and video available on your device. Now, the reason I don't like this method much is because it does not have much order to it. It is very haphazard. So if at all I'm looking for a particular photo or a video, it will be too hard to look for. And that is why I'll always opt for the next method, which people have sort of forgotten with time, but is still equally effective as it used to be. And that method is going through iTunes. With iTunes, you can share your movies, your files, your music, everything to your iPhone or again, vice versa. Firstly, I would suggest that you sign in into your iTunes through your Apple ID. Once you select your phone and you go into summary, you will see that you'll have an option to sync this phone over Wi-Fi. So you can also go with the wireless option, but I prefer the wired one because the transfers are more faster that way. After that, let's say you want to transfer some music from your PC to your iPhone. In that case, you'll go to sync music and select that option. And over there, you can either select a particular file or you can add the folder to library. As you can see, my folder already has two songs and hence I'll select the folder. And now you can see earlier there was zero songs and now the music is going to sync with two songs. And then I'll click on the sync button. And this way, both my songs have been transferred to my iPhone. It hardly took few seconds and my music is already in my phone. Similarly, you can also transfer your movies, your TV shows, your photos, or else you can also do some file sharing. Now this file sharing options only works on the app basis. And hence I would suggest that you go to your app store and download this app, which is known as file manager. And in file manager, you will see a folder called local files and whatever you keep in local files would be accessible from both the ends. So let's say you transfer some data to local files from your PC. So that data you'll be able to access in file manager on your iPhone in the local files folder. And the same could be done otherwise as well. When you transfer some data in your iPhone, you will be able to access that in your PC. So these are the two methods, two very official methods, which are actually supported by Apple because iTunes is officially Apple. And again, of course, iCloud Drive is also from Apple. I hope these methods work for you. And let's say there is also some third or fourth or fifth method for which you can swear by, then please feel free to comment below so that you can help the community. And after you've done everything, you've shared the video, you've liked the video, you've commented on the video, you have subscribed to the channel, you have transferred your data from your PC to your iPhone or your iPhone to your PC, then you need to go to App Store and download our IGP app as well so that you can stay updated for everything Apple every day. This is me Harding saying goodbye. We are iGeeks blog. I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. God bless.